Mystery of the Circus. For Jerry of the Circus. Hello, Aga. Here's your friend, Major Might again. I got some more bananas for you. Nice chimpanzee. Here you are. Come on, Aga. Gonna let you out of your cage. Nice, Aga. Fine. I want you to go over there to the wardrobe tent and muss up Clara's things again. But no more stealing. You get me into real trouble if you keep taking things the way you've been doing. Just throw things around so Clara will have to clean it all up. And when you get back here, I'll give you the rest of these bananas. Hurry now, go on. And I told Clara I'd make a trouble, and I'm doing it. It's like me, because I'm a midget. Put me off, because I'm little, will she? And I just hope that chimpanzee fixes up her tent so it'll take her hours to straighten it out again. I was sure smart to think of getting Aggie to do this for me. No one will ever figure out it's me who's letting her out of the cage at night. Clara will rue the day she ever mistreated me. Uh-oh, flash of light. What was that? Somebody in the tent. I hope they don't catch us. Aga, 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 hurry up, faster. Oh, hurry, Aga, hurry. Here, get in the cage. Quick now. Oh, come on. Uh, your bananas are on the floor there. I'm getting out of here. That dog is coming. Hey, you're right. Hey, never mind the dog. I know you want to catch whoever it is, but you never mind about that. We'll let Mr. Randall take care of that. Sure, you want to help, but we've got other work to do now. Didn't you see that flash bulb go off? The picture was taken all right. Come on now, Rags. Let's go in and get the camera. Shh. Quiet, Rags. You'll wake up everybody on the lot. You want to do this all by yourself. Oh, here's the camera. Now let's take it over to Jack Hastings. He's generally working late in, in his wagon. Come on now, let's run. Come on, Rags. This way, Rags. Over here. Look, there's a light in Jack's wagon. He's there. Hello, who is it? It's Jerry. Come in, Jerry. We got it. We got it, Jack. You got what? Here's your camera. The picture's been taken. Good, good boy. I'm just developing the pictures, but I took the animal. Then you can develop this picture? Yeah. Rags and me, well, we saw somebody go in Clara's tent, but, but it was so dark we couldn't make out who it was, and, and he wasn't in there one second until the flash went off. Are you sure about this, Jerry? Sure. Wait until you develop the picture. You'll see. Here, I'll get this plate out of the camera, and we'll get the thing developed. My trick worked, didn't it? Looks like it did, Jerry. Let's dip this in the soup here and see what kind of a picture we got. Into the soup? Yeah, Jerry, that's what we call this developer. I bet it wouldn't be good soup to eat, though. I'm afraid not. You'd most likely have a pretty sick stomach if you ate any of it. It's acid. Look, the picture's coming out now. Yeah, just another minute now. Can you make it out yet? Not quite. Wait a second here. Say, it looks like this is going to be a picture of an animal. No, honest? Look at that. It's a chimp. Let's wash it off now. Let me see. I'll hold it up to the red light here. Can you see it all right? Yes, sir. You're right, Jack. It is a chimp. It's Aga. Yeah, it's Aga, all right. And the picture was taken just as she was opening Clara's supply cabinet. Caught in the act that time. I wonder what Mr. Randall will do about this. I guess the thing to do is to find out who's letting her out of the cage. Can you print up a picture now? Not yet, Jerry. I'll have to wait until this negative dries first. Should be dry before I turn in tonight. I'll make a print of it then. Then will the picture be ready in the morning? Sure thing. First thing in the morning, you can show it to Mr. Randall. 
Say, what are we doing with the lights out? We can turn them up now. Yeah, that's better. Why didn't you turn them out in the first place, Jack? Oh, they have to be turned out when I develop film. If I expose the film to light, it spoils it, and the picture would disappear. This dim little red light here is as strong as I dare have. There's a lot to your business, isn't there? Yeah, there's a lot to every part of the circus, Jerry. Each job done well goes to make a smooth-running show. I'll bet I'll know all about it someday. <laughs> you will if you stay with the show. But I'm afraid you'll be a whole lot older. It sure is interesting, every bit of it. Do you think it's so interesting that you should be losing all this sleep? It's pretty late for you to be up. Golly, I, I forgot. I guess I'd better be getting to bed. I'll have that picture ready for you first thing in the morning. Suppose I come right over here right after breakfast, and then you and I can go short to Mr. Randall. Good idea, Jerry. I'll be here waiting for you. Here, Eggs. Come on, we're going now, Eggs. Looks like he'd just as soon sleep on the floor all night. Rags. <coughs> well, all right, then. Come on. Good night, Jerry. Uh, good night. See you right after breakfast. Okay, Jerry. Bye, Rags. Shh. Quiet, Rags. Good night. Well, Rags, old boy, I guess Mr. Randall will get us a prize when he finds out we've got a picture of Egg in Clara's tent. I'm going to get up early and be the first one in the mess tent for breakfast. Then right to Mr. Randall we go with the picture. <laughs> the office wagon, Jerry. Who is it? It's Jack Hastings, Mr. Randall. Oh, come in, Jack. Oh, good morning, Jack. And Jerry, too. Uh, what brings you two around here so early? We got it, Mr. Randall. You've got it? <laughs> You've got what? We've got the picture. What is it? What are you talking about? I guess we'd better start at the beginning, Jerry. Okay. You tell him. Jerry here got an idea on how to catch the prowler that's been getting into Clara's tent. He and I set up a camera with a flash bulb yesterday and Last night, the guilty one had a picture taken. Well, of all things, <laughs> pretty good, pretty good. Uh, here's the picture, Mr. Randall. Well, well, say, what is this, a joke? No, sir. That's the picture that was taken in the wardrobe tent last night. Why, well, this is Aga, our prize chimpanzee. And that's the prowler that's been bothering Clara. Well, how can this be? Well, that's the story, all right. That picture doesn't lie. You can see it was taken just as she was trying to open that supply cabinet to Clara. I can't see how she's getting out nights. Just since she can't open that cage of hers by herself. There's just a bolt on the outside. But she can't get her arm through the screen to get at it. Come on. Uh, let, let's go over to Clara's tent and see what we can find out. Looks to me like somebody's letting her out. Well, that's what's happening, all right, and I don't like it. Looks like your detective work has really uncovered something, Jerry. I can't see a reason for it. What I mean is, who'd want to let a chimp out at night? Well, that's what we're going to have to find out. Aggie wouldn't hurt anybody, would she? Oh, I hardly think so, Jerry. Ag is gentle and as tame a chimpanzee as I've ever seen, but, well, this is certainly funny. There's Clara now, just going into oh. her tent. Oh, yeah. uh, Clara! Good morning, Mr. Randall. Good morning, Clara. Good morning, Jerry and Jack. Yeah, did you find anything missing this morning, Clara? Why, well, I don't know, Mr. Randall. I'm just getting here myself. Well, let's have a look around. Mm, no, I, I guess everything's in its place. Wait, that door to my cabinet's open. I'm sure I had it bolted when I left here last night. Anything else, Clara? Not that I... Say, look here. What is it? My gold thimble and my buckles and jewelry. Whoever took them the other night must have brought them back. Huh. Land sakes, I'm sure glad to get that thimble back again. It was my grandmother's thimble. The plot thickens, Mr. Randall. Yeah, this, is, uh, this is like a nightmare. The camera worked last night, Clara. It did? Oh, yes, yes, I, I forgot. Uh, here, Clara, take a look at this picture. That's who's been getting in here nights. Well, sakes alive, a chimpanzee. It's Aga. Sure enough. And that explains how the cabinet got open. The picture was taken just as she started to get into it. And when the flash went off, it scared her. That's why she didn't stay long enough to take anything or upset your things. But that doesn't explain how my thimble and jewelry got back here on my workbench among these scraps of silk. Uh, whoever is letting Aga out is probably the one who returned your things. What do we do next, Mr. Randall? Well, the first thing I'm going to do is have an extra heavy padlock put on Aga's cage. And that'll give you assurance that you won't be bothered anymore, Gara. Heavenly days. If I didn't see this picture with my own eyes, I'd sure think someone was daffy around here. A chimpanzee of all things. <laughs> I've got to run along now, Mr. Randall. You've got a big day ahead of me. <laughs> yeah, all right, go ahead, Jack. And thanks for helping Jerry out with the camera idea. <laughs> Yeah, we've got something to work on now. Okay, Mr. Randall. So long. Goodbye, Jack. See you later. Goodbye, Jack. Huh. 
Well, Jerry, I guess we'd better see about getting that padlock put on Agus Cage and, and see what else we can find out. I hope you can get this all cleared up, Mr. Randall. Oh, no, we will. Jerry's a pretty good little detective. And with his help, we'll get right to the bottom of this. I'm sure thanking my lucky stars I wasn't around when that chimpanzee got in here. Those <laughs> critters scare the daylights out of me. <laughs> uh, I take it you don't like any of the monkey family, huh? No, nor <laughs> any other beasts of the jungle. Dogs and cats is all I ever be caring for. Clara! Clara! Here comes Major Mike. Clara! Well, good morning, Major. What's all the excitement? Oh, good morning, Mr. Randall. Clara, you give me my watch. Your watch? Oh, don't try and make me think you haven't got it. Come on. Come across with it right this minute. I won't stand for any foolishness. I don't know what you're talking about, Major. You mean to stand there and tell me you haven't got my watch? I certainly do. I haven't ever seen your watch. What is this? What's this all about? When I brought my satin coat to Clara, I had my watch in the pocket. I know it was there, and now it's missing. She's got it, Mr. Randall. I tell you, she's got it. I have no such thing, oh, Mr. Now, Randall. Now, now, wait a minute. Take it easy. Let's get this straightened out. There's nothing to straighten out. I demand that you return my watch to me, Clara. I haven't got your watch. It wasn't in your coat pocket. It was so, and I want it back. That was the watch the King of Romania gave me when I did a command performance for him. I want it back. You hear? Give it to me, Clara. Mr. Randall, believe me, I haven't got the Major's watch. Mm. Well... This looks bad. Are you sure you looked through all your things, Major? Now, you keep out of this, young man. Now, now, just a minute, Major. It is possible you mislaid it somewhere. Clara says she hasn't got it. She has got it, I tell you. I don't know whether she meant to steal it or whether she's just trying to aggravate me, but I want my no. watch or no, I'm going to no, go no. to the police. Now, listen, Major. There'll be no going to the police until I call them in. All right, you go back to your quarters now. I'll, I'll handle this myself. All right. But I'm warning you. Clara took that watch. It isn't everybody that gets a watch from the King of Romania. I'll get that watch back, or I'll know the reason. Ah, what a temper. I haven't got his watch, Mr. Randall. Honest, I haven't. Well, all right, Clara. You just let me get to the bottom of this. Come on, Jerry. Okay. Goodbye, Clara. Goodbye. You don't think Clara took the Major's watch, do you, Mr. Randall? Mm, hardly, Jerry, but you and I have got a lot of business on our hands today. 